Good morning YouTube! Today I am starting the frame on the bus and first I would like to give a huge thank you, huge shout out to Cold Beer Ranch. Um, you guys are the best. I absolutely, they sent me an amazing care package, some really cool t-shirts, some of their t-shirts and some other really awesome stuff. So thank you so much to you guys. They also sent me a Lowe's gift card and because of that I was able to get the rest of the 2 by 2s that I needed to frame the walls. And like I've mentioned in previous videos or maybe on a live chat, I don't remember, but the way that I'm framing the bus, I've never seen it done before. It's pretty basic and I think that it'll do just fine. I'm not worried about it. So I'll walk you guys through everything and this is how it's gonna go down. So first and foremost, I have two by twos. I have enough to do the all, both walls. I'm only doing the two walls. I'm not doing the ceiling yet, but I will use this same tactic to tackle the ceiling. So I'm gonna cut the two by twos to size. <clears throat> so I'm gonna measure from here to here. I'm gonna cut them to size. And they don't go all the way back, so there's a couple of small, there's a couple of screws that slightly stick out, um, but they won't go that far back, so that won't be an issue. But I'm gonna measure the two by twos to size. I'm gonna put one on each side of this beam. So most people that I've seen, um, on bus conversions when they frame the bus they usually put the wood on the outside here which I get why they do that um, my insulation is not that thick and I'll actually be using some of the that great stuff big cracks and uh, gaps and cracks and I'll go and fill in any gaps when I have the insulation in but so game plan cut the wood down put it here how I'm going to fasten it is I, well first of all, I've seen people pre-drill the wood and then pre-drill the metal and stick it in that way. And that's what I was originally planning to do. But after a conversation with the awesome Home Depot employee, I decided that I was going to get, I was gonna use some self-tapping two and a half inch metal screws. And so, These should definitely be long, plenty long enough to go into the two by two and the metal. Um, it'll still be a, going a decent amount. So I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna tack these in in the same spot on both sides because the nails are fairly long. So I'll, um, I'll kind of zigzag them. But I will be pre-drilling the two by twos. I just won't be pre-drilling the metal because these are self-tapping. So the metals fairly thick so it might take me a second and have to sit there and drill for a minute and I know it's gonna be tedious it's probably gonna take a lot longer than I'm anticipating because it always does but that's the plan so let's get to it Rockin' her 
I have my first board in. Essentially, I was thinking I was going to pre-drill this and uh, do the self-tapping screws through the wood. Doesn't quite work like that. Um, so I pre-drilled and then got the holes lined up and then, um, then drilled through the metal with the self-tapping screws. Once I broke through, then I went ahead and screwed through the board into the metal. So this seems pretty freaking strong. Um, I'm definitely gonna go this route and and I think once I'm done and you guys see a little bit more you'll kind of see where I'm coming from and get the idea that I have in my mind so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this wall so let's get this bad boy framed As you can see my battery died so I didn't get to um, totally finish this side and then of course I have the back but that's gonna be different dimensions and stuff so I'm gonna do that last but I am also I didn't mention earlier but I'm also gonna be doing one on the top and one on the bottom as well but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and do the sound detonating um, material that I bought I'm gonna put that on there too just so I don't have to worry about trying to get it up underneath or anything like that so, all the stuff, so this is what I got, it's the kill mat, 80 mil, 36 square feet is what it covers, car sound deadening mats. Um, this I got off of Amazon it was between 50 and 60 dollars and there's quite a bit of it so I'm gonna use a pretty hefty amount on here but before I do that I'm gonna go I'm gonna say I use two per section I'm gonna take them out and like, count them up and make sure that I do have plenty so I'm gonna do that first and then I'll get to this I'm gonna do that first, make sure I have plenty enough, and then I'll start putting them up.
All right, you guys, it's another day, and I just cleaned up this whole side of the bus. I got all this stuff over there so that we can start working on this side. I did finish this side uh, framing and my battery died, so I just finished it off, off the camera. <laughs> um, so this side, I'm going to basically just be doing the same thing. And I'm not looking forward to it because it got, I got pretty frustrated trying to do, do the self-tapping screws. Like it's, it's not that it's hard. I just am weak. Um, it takes, it takes a lot of effort to get them in there. But I mean, I got a new groove yesterday and it didn't start great, but it ended great. So hopefully I can find my way back into that groove again and just get this knocked out. So I'm gonna start with the kill mat first and then I'm gonna start framing. Here we go. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead I've been running in circles, trying to catch my breath Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? Alright you guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I am beat. I'm so tired and it's sweaty, but mostly just because it's getting dark or else I would finish. All I have to finish is that back corner back there, which is gonna be super easy. So I'll probably do that first thing in the morning and then we'll start um, insulation. So super excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually go, I'll do this off camera as well first thing in the morning. But as you can see on this side, um, since 
whenever, since when I put these in, it's flush here and I need something to tack into when I put my walls up. I took a one by and I screwed it to the top of those. So when I do, when I, tomorrow morning when I finish that, I'm gonna finish the rest of this and put the one bys on top. And then that way we can insulate and it'll be ready to put the walls up. So we're just getting closer and closer and I'm so excited, but um, hopefully I can get that, get back to posting every day. Uh, right now it's been every other day. But the thing is, is a lot of this is not a one day project. This stuff is so tedious that you think it's going to be super fast. And then it winds up being a lot longer than you're expecting it to be, which happens with literally everything that I do. Well, it, every project that I do, that's always the way it ends up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. I'm tired, I'm gonna go get some rest, edit this video, have this out for you guys tomorrow, which will be today when you're watching it. And even though this was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, mostly just because it takes a lot of upper body strength to get those self-tapping screws in the, into the metal because the metal's pretty thick, it's not not doable. If I can do it, you could do it. It just takes a minute and it exerts a lot of energy, so just be prepared for that. And if you have a big, strong guy, good for you because make him do it <laughs> but if you're just a girl like me doing it solo you can do it i promise you that so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below i also i'm curious as to what you guys think of the framing that i'm doing i'm actually going to be i'm actually framing this for a particular reason and i'll get into that in a different video but yeah let me get let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm super grateful to each and every one of you who not just subscribe to the channel, but watch all the videos and interact and comment. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, I'm just super grateful for every single one of you. So thank you so much for watching my videos, especially if you made it this far. And I'll see you guys on the next one.